we do sell it whole by the pound, we can do a whole roasted or filet mac for you. Gotcha. And this is basic uh, salt that's seasoning? Uh, yeah, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Gotcha. And that's it, huh? Hey, hey, hey. What up, y'all? This is restaurant Amalfi by Bobby Flay at Caesar's Palace. Oof. All the fish look delicious and fresh as they're flown in every day. And they offer different varieties of fishes, weighing about one and a half pounds to three pounds each. Would you like it filleted or have it in one whole piece? So I would order these, uh, but it's, I'm just dining solo, so I can't finish this right now. But uh, As you see, this restaurant specializes in fresh seafood, inspired by the Amalfi Coast in Italy and some influence from his chef friend, Giada de la Rentes. <laughs> oh boy, sorry. Here's some pictures of Amalfi Coast, courtesy of Expedia.com. Its coastline is about 25 miles. Oof, wow. Notation, this was filmed after my meal. Yeah, I gotta say, it's the best uh, Vegas restaurant right now. That's, if you're looking for something a little bit more uh, upscale than casual, but very casual prices. Uh, I was pretty shocked by, its, by their price. Uh, it just has a perfect balance of fine dining and casual and uh, do not tell them this because they're gonna start raising the prices if you do so uh, yeah and full disclosure I've avoided all Bobby Flay restaurants in the past due to this incident on Iron Chef crunch time this is Iron Chef on the road from Webster Hall in New York the last five minutes in the New York summit battle Iron Chef Japanese Morimoto versus Bobby Flay one more minute the final 60 seconds and Morimoto still scurrying, scrambling on his side and play appears to be done. 30 seconds. And now 30 seconds left. Iron Chef, a year ago they said this program couldn't make it on American TV. Well, look at us now, not just... Oh, comment today. below if you used to watch this as well. It's going crazy and here's the final seconds tick down. That's oh boy. This was my first introduction to Bobby Flay. And at the time, these actions made me just say, what a jackass. Raise the roof, yo! Raise the roof, yo! Raise the roof, yo! Raise the roof! You know what? We rock the house. We rock the house. We rock the house. We rock the house. Yeah, we're gonna win. Now let's talk with Iron Chef Morimoto. How was the battle tonight? Well, one hour's too short. By the way, he's not a chef. You know, after finishing, he stood up on the cutting board. That's not right. Cutting boards and knives are sacred to us. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought Bobby Flay was a douche after that first impression. S simple little entrance. Uh, couldn't get seating, but it's first come, first serve for the bar service here. And uh, just sit wherever you want if it's open. Like, for example, this is open. Sit down and have at it. Do what you got to do. Reservations are highly recommended. Bar area here. Uh, bar area. Check out the food. So, big space, high ceilings. Uh, pretty casual. Nothing too crazy. All right. This is the main dining area. At these price points, I think the ribeye is the best value by far. Wow! Although this is a seafood oriented restaurant, these steaks look delicious. And then you got food coming out here, but this is the catch right here. And side area to hold your uh, personal parties here. And the dude standing right there. He's an NBA player, in case you're a uh, want to know yeah cocktail bar all right so yeah i found a seat you sit down and eat all 
guys. Here's the daily fish menu. So I started off on the uh, on the charred octopus and the uh, and the butterfly prawns, and I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm going for the ribeye bone-in, uh, 24 ouncer, and for vegetables, and keep it simple, uh, grilled asparagus. All right, y'all. So in the back, here are the cocktails and spirits, and the prices here are a lot more approachable than the ones at Martha Stewart's restaurant, the Bedford. And thank you, Bobby, for no charm pricing. Uh, I try to get the Coors Light, but they don't have the Coors Light. Absolutely nothing charming about charm pricing, especially at a place like this. So uh, thank you, Bobby, for not doing that. Thank you. All right, so this is the butterfly prawns. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to eat this. I need some chopsticks or something, but uh, yeah, it smells, uh, it smells fresh. It's pretty big. It's a handful. So I just grab it and just, just kind of eat it, huh? Alright guys, uh, damn, you just, I'm just gonna go at it. Woo! Already you can tell this is gonna be good. It's steamy hot and it just smells so awesome. Hey, I'm gonna just pop it in the mouth see what happens, yeah? Wow, the cooked texture is perfect. Props to the person who did this. You know, let's go all in. You know what? I'm not quite sure what the flavoring is in here. I didn't. Th Check out the menu, but whatever it is, it's good. And it, the way it's cooked, you could just just pop it in your mouth and do what you gotta do. All right, check it out. I don't know. It's good. Ah, little gochu like the one at John George's Steakhouse. A little pepper. You know what? I'm just. I'll just take a bite. <laughs> One take. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and uh if you haven't watched the korean film old boy and you like suspense thrillers i highly recommend i enjoy octopus and unlike at catch or carbone over here they serve you uncut octopus leg all right y'all so like a civilized person i did cut this up with a knife and uh yeah it just cuts right up check it out And then a little sauce. You know, I'm so hungry, guys. I'm not quite sure what the sauces are or whatnot, but there's bacon bits here in here. Wow. It just tastes so fresh, you know. Alright y'all, so I was enjoying the sauce so much, this thing, whatever this is, I'll figure it out. But uh I was like, hey, do you guys have bread? Like I wanna order some bread or something like that. And uh as long as it's not thirty dollars, I want some bread. He's like, okay. Alright. I'm getting drunk off this thing right now. Oh boy, this is why I shouldn't be drinking. Alright y'all, so he called this the fochata. 
or I mean focaccia with some olive oil and it's a uh, wow this is wow this is a must uh, I didn't see it on the menu but uh do the bread do it it's one of the best breads uh, table breads I've ever had uh, with a little olive oil but let's do this Yeah, I'm gonna make you a shrimp head sandwich. All right, here's the shrimp head sandwich. Ooh, we wow, this combination is working. All right, now we have the ribeye right behind. Oh, all right, y'all. Let's finish this off. The ribeye came out, and I ordered the asparagus. Let's see if it's good as uh, Bavette's. It smells good. Yeah, it's it's just charred little lemon in there. And uh, and this is the compliments of the chef. Looks like string beans. Cool. Get some greens in. All right, let's finish the shrimp head. Woo! Delicious. Let's keep in mind, all the steaks here are prime grade. So I think this is a 24 ounces exactly with the bone in. I smell the butter, it smells good. Let me, let me get in this one. Nice, perfectly rare. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's go in. Little ribeye. I wish it was a little bit more tart on the outside, but it's tasty and worth every dollar. Huh, these are baby onion crisp. Let's try the asparagus first. These are, uh, looks like baby asparagus on a thin side, but uh, let's go. Well, you paid for it, so yeah. Right. Standard. Nothing offensive. Um, not as good as Bavette's, but uh, yeah. Let's go go in on this. Uh, this was a, the compliments of the chef. There's a little spiciness into it, I could say. I wonder who they thought I was to provide this as a complimentary. There's going to be some spice, they've said. Uh, let's go. Hmm, maybe they thought I was Pompsy. All right. <laughs> What if you had the choice between these two, go with this. Go with that. This is a. This is Bobby Flay. This is pretty standard. I could make you this. I don't think I could make you that. Yeah, this is the rib cap. I think. <laughs> Actually, rib cap's up here. Oh yeah, it does taste like the rib cap flavorful it's good quality i just wish it was a little bit more charred but it's good to go and yes i did request for extra charred that's the fat cap here i just had a piece and it's up perfectly seasoned on the other side i don't know if they did it on purpose but there's more flavoring by the fat area so they probably sprinkled more salt on the outer side of where the fat is because you need some salt to cut that off I think this is 75 bucks or whatever. This is well, probably the best bargain here in Vegas on the strip. Well priced. I think these are like 15 bucks. And the bread, this bread was around $10. So yeah, skip Martha Stewart's. You, just come over here, this is way better. But watch my Martha Stewart video anyways for confirmation. All right, y'all. I'm winding this thing down. Uh, I'm gonna do that one piece. This, 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 and that. I'm gonna take it to go. Uh, do it. One of the best deals on the strip right now. Order that focaccia bread, even though it's not on the menu. 
the oh, thank you. Happy birthday to you. A little to go box here. I have a little doggy bag. Arf, 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 arf. All right, for reals, come check this place out. Pros are price, taste, location, everything, except one. The one con is if you're allergic to seafood. All right, if you're still on here and if you're new to this channel, at least push that like button and let my YouTube bosses know. And uh, if you plan on coming back, please subscribe. It helps. And to all the subscribers who's watching this right now, thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. And please, come again. Bye-bye.